that I'd show you all my gear. All loaded up, ready to go. Let's do this. Hi, I'm Jan. I'm at the beach and I've been painting most of the time I've been here. And I have my in plane air pack, so I thought it would be a great opportunity to show you what's in mine because it always intrigues me about what people bring, how they get it there, how they pack it, all that good stuff. So let's take a look at mine. Okay, so this is about the sum total of what I take. Um, this green box, sometimes I take it, sometimes I don't. It has my paints in it, and I usually pare it down and just put them in this backpack. But since I have them in there, I'm not gonna take them out. I'm just gonna show you what I usually bring. This is the tripod I use. It is a, a Siri, and it's pretty heavy duty. It has one, two, three, four, um, five different legs on it so that it, get, it gets pretty tall. And then this middle part also lifts up. It also has this little uh, center thing so that you can put something like a backpack or um, something like that to weigh it down if it's really windy. And it has this quick release, which is really nice. And once you get it all set up, you can um, lock it into place and secure it. So let's see what's in the bag. So this bag is pretty heavy. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. Um, it is a Keatley, Keatley, and it has some pretty heavy duty straps. They're padded. And also it has one that can go around your waist that's padded. It's got two pockets on the side. Usually I have a water bottle in the side here, but it's in my car right now. And it's because I use water mixable paints. So I bring that along. It has a front pouch and then the big main pouch. So I'm gonna open up the little pouch and show you what's in there. I have my collapsible water bucket, which is fantastic. I have a painting smock. Wet wipes just in case, um, you know, for your hands or whatever. I have a plastic bag for paper towels and stuff like that that I use. An extra ziplock just in case I find some nature treasures or something like that and want to bring them back with me. And then in the main pouch here is where most of the stuff lies. I have my paper towel roll, which has a bungee on it, and I'll show you how that attaches to my easel. I've got this extra little piece here. I'll show you exactly what that does. I've got these little parts that go onto my easel also. I'll show you how those attach. I've got my travel pack for all my brushes, varying sizes just because I never know what I'm gonna encounter or what I'll need. And then here's my easel. It's a Strata. And Strata has about, um, I think, three or four different versions. I think this is the larger one. Not sure about that, but um, I will show you how it goes on the tripod and how it sets up. And I have uh, a couple different size canvases because I never know what I'm going to encounter. And unless I have plotted out the location, then I have options. 
And sometimes I bring this, not always, but it is a Ziploc so that I can put um, my palette in here and save it if I have a lot of paint left over. And then in here is all my paints and um, palette knives and stuff like that. And like I said, sometimes I pare this down, depends on how far I have to go on location, how far of a walk it is and stuff like that. So this also has um, a plastic scraper because inside the Strata easel, it is not glass, it is plastic. So um, this comes in really handy because then you don't scratch up your plastic palette, which works great. So let's set up the tripod. It has a locking mechanism on the front here. And all you have to do is slide it out and then it opens up. And this is your plastic palette right here. I added this little, um, it just, zip, it just um, has some Velcro little corners on there. And I find that this little strap that I put in here really helps to get it out. Um, so I put that in there myself. So on the back here, it has a little screw hole that you just attach your tripod mount to. And this tripod mount has a convenient little, um, handle here which is really easy to get it on and off some of them you have to use a little quarter or something to get it on and off which is a real pain in the butt so then once you have that on once you have it lined up you just snap it into place and then you can reposition it you can move it up and down forward this opens up. Move it back a little bit so you can see better. So now we have these little add ons, which are trays that you can put your brushes on. Uh, your water, your palette knives, paints, anything you need. Um, what it has is a little groove there and it snaps right on the side here. And then same with this one, snaps on the side there. Now this is a little extra piece you can also get for the Strata easel in case you don't have a board and you need um, a canvas holder. This goes on the middle section and it slides down and then you can tighten it up. Like that. So then you just get your canvas and you put it on there. The middle section goes up and down so then that secures your canvas on there. And then what I was showing you earlier, the paper towels I bring with the little bungee cords. I attach that to the front here. I attach it to the front with the bungee cord and then it's all ready to go and even rolls. I usually put my bucket water over here but if you need something to weigh your your tripod down you could also put it on the underneath the little um the little hook i was telling you so that it helps secure your tripod in place and then of course your brushes and all that good stuff can go right on here yeah so there you have it um it works for me. It's not the lightest setup, I'm gonna be honest with you, but it's not the heaviest either. 
I will leave links below to anything that I've shown in this video so that you can get an idea of where to find this setup. Um, what I like about it is that it breaks down and fits into that pack. It's easy to clean and it's very sturdy. Um, other than a coolie pack for my lunch and drinks and stuff like that, it fits in that one backpack. And um, to be honest with you, I don't go very deep in the woods or something like that for location. I usually scout out my locations and know that there's gonna be easy parking and quick jaunt to the car because sometimes I'm by myself and I just don't know what I'm gonna encounter on location. So it's good to have an easy option to get to the car pretty quickly. So yeah, um, if you have any questions, let me know, I'd be happy to answer them. And uh, since I've been here, I did an in clear in air painting video, which was on the bay side. It was a gorgeous day and you get to see this set up um, in action and me painting on location. So if you're interested in that, I'll leave a link below. And I also um, did a little beach condo tour of this place that I'm staying at. Um, I set up a little makeshift studio and I've been painting since I've been here. So I did a little um, video on that also, which I'll leave linked below. So thanks for watching. I hope you subscribe and come back for my content because I'd love to have you along this painting journey. And uh, See you next time. We are dreamers of the shore.